Facebook and Zynga finding that sharing riches isn't always easy. Um, Shandy, these two companies are heavily reliant on each other. Um, Zynga, of course, the, the social gaming company um, involving purple cows and other things relies heavily on Facebook and Facebook relies heavily on, on Zynga. What, that's good, right? When you know you got the sort of integration Code there. Codependency. Codependency, right. whatever. We'll, get, we'll get, get into a psychiatrist <laughs> or whatever. But it's causing a bit of a problem. Tell us. Well, I think that there, it, it's sort of a complex relationship. Right now, what I'm hearing is that both companies are very happy with the relationship. Uh, Zynga uh, relies on Facebook for 93% of its revenue. So that is pretty enormous. But what we found out in Facebook's S1 on Wednesday is that Facebook actually relies on Zynga for 12% of its revenue. And that number is actually probably a low figure because that doesn't include all of the ads that go on pages that are generated by Zynga games. Mm -hmm. And so if the SEC comes back to Facebook and says, well, we actually want to know, you know how many ads are being generated by Zynga and include that in your revenue, that number could go up much more. Mm -hmm. I don't think it'll be 93%, but it'll be high. Now, uh, you're yeah. I was going to say your story says that some of the tensions came from the fact that um, Zynga games that were, you know, were things that were purchased through Facebook credits, there is a revenue share in place. Uh, yes. Tell us about that. Yes. Well, so what's interesting is that there had been a lot of rumors last year when Facebook started requiring Zynga to pay them 30% of their revenue. Uh, that there was all this tension over it. And what my sources were telling me yesterday is that actually the tension wasn't as much over that. There was some negotiation over the size of the cut that Facebook would take from Zynga, but the real tension was that when Facebook first opened up their platform to developers, a lot of these developers started um, sort of building products that users considered spammy. And Facebook took this attitude towards Zynga and other game developers and other app developers that they were the enemy and they needed to crack down on them. And that's really where the bad relationship and the bad blood developed. And so the tension was between sort of senior Facebook executives who were working on developer partnerships and the senior Zynga executives who were working on the Facebook platform. Uh, and what ended up happening is that the two CEOs really had to come together and kind of make peace. And so over a series of dinners and a series of late night meetings at Facebook's headquarters over about three months last year, Mark Zuckerberg and Mark Pincus made peace. And the two of them came to a decision that they were going to sort of, you know, put their futures in each other's hands and they were going to tie themselves See? to each other and they were committed to that. And, uh, you know, my sources tell me they're still both happy with that relationship. So and, I'm, uh, I'm now curious, was this a romantic dinner? Was this a pizza dinner? Was this, I don't, <laughs> I don't I mean, think I just, it was I wanna... romantic. I think there were a few Which other sounds like single there. candle, you know, nice right. music, you know, yeah. it sounds great, no spaghetti, <laughs> something delicate. Yeah, Ooh, I'll have very to ask lovely, the great, yeah. low music. You must find out, Shandy. You must find I out. Will. Good. Get and and report Shandy. back to us. Yeah, go get it. Tell, tell us if it was more than words with friends. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah Got tell it. us that. Tell us if lipstick involved as well. Thank okay. you very much, Shandy Race of the Wall Street Journal out there in San Francisco.